So The Brave is a TV show about a hybrid military unit that's kind of a hybrid between the special forces and the CIA and every single individual on the team has their strengths and it all comes together to play perfectly where everyone plays their part. It's like chess, the kind of way we work. We're all different components. And uh, basically we go on missions across the whole globe, every single country pretty much that needs help. We're in, we're ready, we're gonna save. And I know our tagline is, when there's no way out, we go in, which is exactly what happens. These units in real life are called upon when there is nothing else, when you are in the most dire situations and these people need to sneak in under the radar, save people and then sneak out. So it's great because in the series we get to go to loads of different countries and explore missions that kind of stand alone in one place and then we have to leave because that's what happens in real life anyway and we move on to the next place and the next mission. The fantastic thing about our characters in this show and getting to play these kind of people on these teams is that we get to show the human side of every individual, our backstories, where we've come from, how we've come to be this elite, and what it's like to constantly go under radar, to never get the credit. You don't get, these people in the real world don't get the credit for the jobs they do, and they struggle, they have feelings, they're three dimensional human beings, and the parallel between their personal lives, which they don't actually really have that much time for, and the complexity of their professional lives coming together creates a great contrast for audiences to watch, for actors to get to play. It's, I mean, I feel so fortunate to be in this show. It really is quite special. I play jazz on The Brave, on the team, so she is one of the most badass women I have ever ever come across in my life and what I love about her and what I love about the writing of her and everyone involved in creating this fantastic character is that she doesn't ignore the fact that she's a woman. She doesn't harp on about it but she doesn't ignore it either. It's like I'm a woman and that's what makes me special on this team because I can do things that you guys can't. I can do a lot of the stuff that you guys can but I also I can just do what I can do. I'm, I'm the best sniper on the team. And that's non-gender specific. That's just who's best for the job, and it's me. Out of everyone's shooting abilities, I'm the best sniper. I'm the best, I have the best shot. It's always gonna be me who gets the kill shot. I'm always gonna be ready, because that's my training and my background. But then on top of that, there's the other side that's like, as a woman, I can sneak into places that men can't. I have more of a connection with countries where I can go under the radar, like the Middle East, where they don't expect women to be front and center in the military or in any kind of unit. Um, and I think, I think that's what I love about her, that she has the stuff that's like, I'm just tough and skilled, and this is exactly what I can do, which is exactly what you can do, or I can do better than you. And then here's what makes me special, just like some other characters, Emir, for example, he speaks about 20 different languages, Maguire's character doesn't. So Maguire can't go to certain places that Amir can, just like I can go to certain places that Dalton can't. And focusing on all our individual strengths, like it makes us play together, little opponents. Like it's just, it's fantastic. I love it. In the real world, these teams are built exactly the way our team is written. Out of the creme de la creme, the most elite from every different division, so that every single person brings a different strength into a group and everyone comes from a different training background. So you'll have a SEAL on there, you'll have someone who's been through Delta, Airborne, CIA, everything comes together and everyone plays together to make this team special. One thing that we're really focusing on is keeping the show as authentic as we can with all the drama, of course, and the movie magic. But we want to be authentic. We want to have the correct technique. We want to represent accurately what these people are doing in the real world and how challenging and difficult that is and how much skill it takes. And so we have a military advisor with us called Mikhail Vega, who is incredible. And I mean, we would not be who we are without him. He has been training us from pretty much the moment we got cast. We had our first boot camp in Morocco. Uh, some of us had never held weapons before in our life. 
Others had, but I had to learn everything from scratch and he had patience and helped me learn. I mean, the good thing was I had no bad habits to break like other people did, but um, I learned everything from the beginning because of him and we were learning. We were out on the field in Morocco on the ground crawling, contact front, contact right. And then kind of looking over and being like, oh, that's the hotel over there and people are having breakfast. Kind of so immersed in our reality. Um, it was fantastic, the camaraderie that we all got and the kind of connection we all have and the chemistry was real because of the kind of training we did. Sweating together, kind of you know, complaining, oh, it's been 12 hours and I'm still crawling on the ground and all that. It builds something which you don't normally get from just sitting around and talking. So that's been great. And then when we got to Albuquerque, boot camp 2.0, just as hot, if not hotter than Morocco. A bit more barren land, which was great compared to like looking across at the five star hotels and being like, oh, I'm, I, why am I on the floor pretending that there's a threat in front of me? Uh, whereas here, we've been climbing up like the Sandia Mountains with weighted vests in altitude. It's a killer, but it's great. I mean, one of the things I love most about this job is the training and being able to physically change and physically learn and sink into a power that I didn't have before. It's really transformative and it's, it's happened to all of us, I think, so it's great. One of the most exciting things about this show is how international it is. Within the cast, within the storyline, within our characters, everything about this show is international and, and expands onto like a global concept. We have characters who speak a multitude of languages among us, which allows us to be able to travel to different countries. France, Mexico, Nigeria, Ukraine, every corner of the world, and have people who can blend and fit in and surreptitiously just get on with life. And within our cast, we speak a hell of a lot of languages and have very different backgrounds, come from different places. We have people who are raised Muslim, people who are raised Christian, people who grew up in the Middle East, people who grew up in London, America, wherever. It's, it's amazing. So we have so much culture that we can bring as actors, that our characters can bring, and then the story brings as well and the places that we get to go, so. One of the most captivating things about our show is that we explore the resiliency of humanity. It's incredible, the resiliency of the people on these kind of teams, the resiliency of people to get back up again after they've had everything taken away from them, after they've been in the most dire situations, and how we just keep moving forward, how humans will always find a way out. And that's what we're exploring in our show. And we truly do explore how when everything's taken away from us, we keep moving forward. That is the resiliency of humanity and it's fantastic. And to get to explore it in such a adrenaline, exciting, kind of danger on the edge of your seat, suspense way, and then the contrast of the human and the emotion that's happening inside. One of the main goals of the show is to shed light on the people who do this in the real world. They don't get limelight, they don't get front, you know, front cover stories and news headlines because they're undercover, they're under the radar, they're never gonna be seen. They go in, they go out, they get no credit for it. And they do really incredible, amazing things. Things that you wouldn't believe, the things that happen in our episodes where you're on the edge of your seat the whole time and that's just part of their reality. And so to have the honor to represent them means that we carry that weight. We want to do that accurately. We want to do that as, you know, as interesting and as exciting as we can, but the accuracy is really important for us, which is why we have a military advisor, which is why we work so hard all the time to be fit, to be healthy, to learn formations, to hold weapons and have technique that's all correct, because it matters.